I was already a long time ago captured uh, by microorganisms. I think already in high school we uh, we had a chapter on microorganisms and the huge diversity that our Earth is in fact a microbial planet. Without the microbes, we wouldn't even exist. So I was very fascinated by this uh, this large diversity and what what the bacteria could. The plants and animals and we as humans, we are very complex and interesting, but we are not very important for the functioning of our planet. The planet has done without us for many billions of years. I have specialized in anaerobic microbiology, so microbes that can live without air, without oxygen. Anaerobic bacteria have been known for a long time. They are used in fermentations. What is new is that people did not believe that ammonium and methane could be oxidized by anaerobic bacterium without air present. And the discoveries we made is that anaerobic bacteria that convert ammonium and methane without oxygen really do exist and that they are important bacteria in nature and important for wastewater treatment. It's now 20 years ago that I started this kind of research on these topics. And actually in the beginning with our first papers, the people really did not believe us. We sometimes have doubted, are we doing the right thing? If you have waited for a year and nothing happens, are we doing the right thing? Uh, we have tried a few times, so also in vain and with trial and error. But in the end, when you succeed, then it is very rewarding. Yes, our ideas were right and we have done the right thing. You need a drive to really want to find things that others have overlooked that others couldn't find. The trick to find these organisms is to go to places where they really thrive. So in, at this, in the sediment, in the anaerobic sediment of a pond, a ditch or a sea, bring those samples back to the laboratory and then mimic the natural situation as good as possible. We are we getting there. If we bring this to the lab, we can extract DNA and then we can look and estimate how many bacteria are, are at the bottom of this pond. In the literature, these organisms are called impossible bacteria because no one can find them. But of course, these bacteria do exist. So there is nothing more challenging to find something that others say does not exist. And the anaerobic bacteria, they, they have very spectacular properties. They can make rocket fuel. Uh, but even more important is they can remove ammonium from wastewater. As, as humans, we produce billions of gallons of wastewater every day. And we can use these bacteria to remove uh, the nitrogen waste from these streams in a very uh, sustainable way. So in the end, uh, the normal citizen will benefit enormously. He, he won't have to pay levies to clean his wastewater because it can be done in a much more efficient way. With all the new prizes we have won, we have many, many opportunities. We have a challenge to find the best opportunities, but, but the most exciting thing is that we can teach a new generation of microbiologists with all the skills that I have gathered. We can transfer them, and hopefully they in the future will find all the new bacteria we haven't found yet.